You got showdown contest galore for each of these Thanksgiving mm. Day games. And just in case, if you're new here, the single game showdown format, pretty simple stuff. You draft six players from the game, selecting one captain who will get you one and a half times the points. However, one and a half times the salaries mm. where you're gonna be dropping on them. So who would you captain in this contest, Steven? Uh, you know, just going back to David Montgomery, I think everybody's going to have the same answer, or DeAndre Swift. That's going to be the, the ones in this one here. I would be very cautious about anybody who catches a football in this game on either side. I think that's just not going to be the way you want to handle this game at all. I think this is going to be a very run-heavy game, so you go with the RB1s in this one, whether it's Swift or Montgomery. Both of these guys are in a good spot this week. Yeah, and I'm looking at the prices. I mean, Swift's the highest um, yeah. salary here, 17-4, and then Montgomery, 16-8. Uh, Jules... Is Steve right? It's got to be one of these two? I think that's where your eye is going to be drawn, and I think that Montgomery is the guy for me that stands out as probably the right answer. But also, don't we think this is going to be a weird game? We just talked about it. This is going to be a weird game. So, <laughs> uh, like, yep. Do tight, ends yeah. Are, yeah. tight ends yeah. are in play. Um, yeah. Cole Komet, TJ Hawkinson. Also, if this is going to be low scoring, oh, it's no. going to be a weird game. If oh. the running back chalk maybe busts. Oh. I am interested in captaining a kicker. Oh, oh my, no. no. Oh, we don't Mark need this. the tape, no. dude. Yes. Mark the tape. I have no problem captaining, oh, uh, captaining a kicker here. Then you play Swift and Montgomery and fill the rest in from there. This is, that's kind of gross. The only what? problem. So that the, is gross. But here's the only problem. If you captain a kicker, you almost have too much salary left over. You take the two <laughs> running backs wow, you're and then rich. you're trying to find ways to spend it. However, that's gonna make other people not do it. So you're gonna be contrarian. Um, and I, I'm being serious, I think one of the kickers, double digit points in the captain spot, could be better than a lot of other options. That's contrarian. You wanna right. get weird? Are you I mean, with them? Who do you want? Who do you want to kind of put them on the spot and say who are the kickers that are, are playing in this game? But like, I'm looking into that now. Have they both the list? Exactly. They both have had like injuries too. Uh, like, like kicking. Yeah, I'm right. seeing some kickers on IR yeah. here. <laughs> exactly. Rosas is the Detroit kicker. There we go. Yeah, he's okay. gonna have a great. He's gonna have a great game. <laughs> awesome. He's gonna have a great game. Look, at the, to, to Julian's point, I think the way he started with that was you gotta get a little weird on this yeah, one. And, and both of the running backs are gonna be chalk, and it's good chalk is good chalk. But like, I take a look at guys like Andy Dalton. And I think, okay, what does he do really well? He throws it from zero to ten yards line of scrimmage. That screams Cole Komet to me. That screams someone in that low. That does not scream uh, Darnell Mooney, who goes 16 targets and gets deep balls. You look at Andy Dalton, his, I think when he started, his past 10 yards of line of scrimmage, or 10 to, to 20 yards line of scrimmage, passing, he's eight for 20 on the year. Just yeah. doesn't do it. And so Cole Komet is someone that I'm very interested in at 7-5 in the captain spot. And then pair him up with your running backs, maybe get some kickers in there and get a little weird.